Hello. How you cats doing? Well, I've had a couple of people write me and tell me that, you know, I should do more gold videos. And, uh, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk about gold. And, uh, you know, if you notice that the, the price of gold has really went up high since I did my video in 2016, it's up there. It's up there. I think back when I did it, it was like... Uh, 1100 12 13 14 uh, an ounce of gold but now we're talking 23 i think today is 23 24 i think and uh you know that's and if you got it certified like like this right here you know that could almost go for three thousand so for people that bought gold back in the day <laughs> you're probably pretty happy now you know what I mean but even if you didn't I mean you know I always say it if you didn't if you couldn't afford the one ounce you know get the 120th and that's a Canadian you know uh, uh, tw 120th and that just as good you know what I mean and if you can't afford that then get the uh, silver the one ounce silver you know they got they got a lot of precious metals and stuff that you can buy that can help you uh, you know, help you as you, you know, collecting uh, gold and silver. You don't have to always go ex buy the most expensive because now it's starting to get pretty pricey. You know, even for me, if I would not, if I hadn't already bought some, but you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I mean, you look at people now, they seeing that the government is taking uh, the dollar and just buying everything oh here's a war oh we're gonna give to ukraine oh we're gonna give to this and we got a lot of uh you know foreigners coming in you know wanting a better life and trying to live so they got to pay for all of that they got wars they got they got to pay for all that so you got to figure out well where where's that money coming from where's where are they getting all this money from and i know we pay our taxes and property taxes and sales taxes and all that but you know do we have enough money to afford all that and eh, no, I think what they're doing is they figuring well, they got another kind of uh, currency or whatever they're gonna go into digital currency they're gonna go into. So they just kind of kicking that dollar to the curb, you know what I mean? And that's what I saw, you know, back there in 2016 and earlier than that I saw that, you know, because you start to see gold prices constantly just keep creeping up. You know, you get the fluctuations, and this is why I want to tell some of you cats to have about gold. Don't worry about that fluctuation. Okay, that's going to happen. If you get it at a wrong price and it goes down, don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. Because it's going to just eventually work itself out and then go back up and hit a new high. Because I don't see this government changing overnight. I mean, when you got, let me see, I think back in the day when I, in 20, about in 2016, I said the, the, the uh, debt was like, the national debt was, I think it was about 16, 15 or something like that. 16, 17 trillion. Now we up to 34 trillion, getting ready to hit 35 trillion. So with all that debt, and, and I like to put it like this, if you had a credit card and you had maxed it out and you said, man, I ain't got no more uh, money. I lost my job. I maxed out on my credit cards. What they did, what you would do is go, it, some people would go get another credit card and try to pay off the, the monthly bills on that. And that's what I seem like our government is doing. You can't live like that. You can't live like that. I mean, that's that's tough. That's tough. So, you know, eventually that's all going to come to a head. And it's really, I think the ones that's going to come out at the bottom of this, because you're dealing with the government, dealing with massive millions and billions of dollars of money. And they're forking it out to corporations to build this, get this, have wars, do this, do that. Everybody's getting their hand in on that money. But the, here's the key, though. When even like what you at your job, you may not be on that big level like that, you know, where you get millions of dollars like that, a big corporations, but you get your job money. That money needs to be turned into gold and silver. OK, some of it anyway, it needs to be turned into gold. I mean, because you still got a deal. You still got to have money in the bank account to pay your your mortgage or your rent or your car notes or your insurance. You still need that. So you know I'm saying so you need that certain amount in the in the bank. But the extra money. You need to have it in gold and silver. And you say, well, what about my 401k? Is it is it okay? Well, it's according to what you have it in. You know what I mean? If you have it in a in a gold-backed, uh, like uh, 401k IRA or something, 
which is good. Or if you just have physical, like I do, just have physical gold and silver. That's good. Because that takes it out of the government's hand to where if they spending on all this money that you like, I don't understand that. That's silly. I don't know why we spending so much money out there on other people instead of ourselves. Well, you put it in gold and silver, you pretty much okay. Because remember, this, since I first said it, it went about 100%. You know what I mean? Can you imagine getting 100% on your a return? That's pretty good. And the, uh, the, the, the silver. You see what I'm saying? That's what I was saying, getting in gold and silver. And if you got a, a, a little bit more money, you want to get into real estate. You know what I mean? Not real estate at these real high prices. I like real estate to where you, you're going into a new subdivision. All the houses around there are about the same. Basically, you know, it, it's going to vary a little bit. You know, you got a nice new subdivision. The house is new. The roof is new. Everything is new about it. So you can get in there and live for 10, maybe 20 years if you have to. But that would be a good investment. Now, if you go out here and buy somebody in an old neighborhood, I don't have no problem with old neighborhoods, but don't let that price be real high because people are running up that price because they know that dollar's falling. You know what I mean? This is really not going anywhere. But when you talk about the, when you compare it with the dollar, equal with the dollar, oh, this, oh yeah, it's going up. <laughs> it's going up because the dollar is getting weaker. You see what I'm saying? This is metal, gold, whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, the more you invest, the more you, the more they mess over that dollar, the more prices of commodities. That's why your food prices are going up. That's why your car prices are going up. The house prices are going up. Clothing, everything is going up. They trying to go up on everything that you can't see, <laughs> that you don't really notice, but they can't help it because they printing up too much money. It'd be different if the government is saying, oh, okay, we're going to cut back on this. We're going to cut back on the government. We're going to cut back on the employees. We're going to cut back on the spending. Now, well, I'd be like, oh, okay, gold is all right. And, you know, I think we okay now. I can come out and kind of go into cash more. But not when they out there blowing money like this. Okay. So, you know, you just got to look at, okay, what's imp what is best for me and then you and your family. Okay. So that's what you got to do. You got to look out for look out for yourself, okay? Look out for yourself. And like I say, it's it you can you don't have to go get the one ounce because it is getting up there. But if you got the money, yeah, get it. You know what I'm saying? You know you got the one ounce uh uh, uh silver. Yeah, that's I think that's like 30, 30, 35 or something like that. That's not too bad, $35. You know, but that at least protects your money from inflation what it does it go, it's a com it's it's like commodity it goes up with all the other commodities you see what i'm saying because they more they keep printing out these dollars that means it's a whole lot of dollars in circulation right so they can buy things so guess what if i if somebody come to buy my my uh silver here and i know it's a whole lot of money circulating if i could get 30 <laughs> a lot of money out there if i can get 40 i'll get 40 if i can get 50 i'll take 50 so whatever, you know, whatever, whatever somebody's willing to pay. And if I know it's a lot of money circulating out there, price is going to go up. And that's what you're looking at. Okay. So like I say, uh, brothers and sisters, just, just, you know, make sure you're looking at your finance and, and don't just have it all in the dollar, just all in the bank. Yeah, the bank is giving you 4%. Some, is, some banks are giving you like a half a percent or something like that. And you know, that ain't nothing. But you know, putting it in gold and silver, just think of it like this. It's long-term for your kids, right? It's something that you're putting away for your, for your family in the long run. You know what I mean? Sure, you might need it when you're getting retiring or getting old. You might break it out and sell it to pay for some bills. That's fine. But look at it long-term. That way you don't get caught up in the ups and downs of the market. You know what I mean? That way, oh man, I, oh I put the, oh I, oh I, this thing's gonna go down. It always go, nah, it ain't going down because the way they spend it, they got so much debt now in this country that I don't think they can even pay it off. You know what I'm saying? So that dollar is gonna eventually just fade to just really not that. It, it's not gonna be worth that much. So I'm saying, but this is holding its value. The gold and the silver is holding its value. Okay. All right, all right, brothers and sisters. I hope that helped. And uh, I'll try to make more videos. You know me, boy. I'm all, look. I'm semi-retired, so uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm I'm always someplace. All right, all right. Then take care.